welcome to a vlog i have tomato face so i just did a workout i did like 40 minutes on the elliptical and then i did like a little bit of strength training um mostly just abs a few different positions i did some squats and i used free weights a little bit i just kind of wanted to get like a whole body light light workout because i'm not being consistent enough so every time i like oh i'll work out today and i haven't worked out in two weeks it's like starting all over my goal is to work out every day of the week um even if it's you know 30 minutes whatever last week i showed you our groceries i got a lot of fresh stuff last night for dinner i had zucchini fries i didn't like the way they turned out because i didn't have the parmesan which i think would make the biggest difference in the flavor so i ate a few of those and then i ate um two of my vegan veggie corn dogs and those are only like 280 calories to have two so it's like really really light so i had an, a deficit yesterday i pretty much had starbucks drinks and those two things to eat and that's it yeah anyway i'm about to make some liquid iv oh, oh my goodness she's playing with that carrot i got her <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> you like it baby you like it are you crazy get it i'm sorry I'm not supposed to be watching. <laughs> okay. And here's Petey too. Hi. Hi, the pretty girl. What? What? <laughs> okay. You want to spin? Is that what it is? Uh, so, of my mini Starbucks cups, I started drinking out of this one for my water for the day. Almost emptied it and I'll drink at least another one of these. But I'm also about to make liquid IV like I said and then in the afternoon I'll have some iced coffee. I'm probably gonna cut open a mango and have it with tahini. Such a good little snack, some fruit. I'm not like pinching every calorie, you know, that kind of thing. Like I said in my previous vlog, I just wanna eat more whole like natural fruits, vegetables, and things like that and like some whole grains. I bought like quinoa. Um, some wild rice like that type of stuff but more just like real ingredients but not like processed and really really cutting back on eating out I said at most like once a week is a treat is what I'd like to shoot for anyway so let me make some liquid IV all right I'm using my favorite lemon lime y'all try to ignore all the stuff I have everywhere like I have not put anything away I'm so terrible and I'm going to shower and then I'm gonna put on some new impressions nails I trimmed down all my nails they were actually kind of long and I just feel like they stay better if my like flimsy end of my nails isn't underneath the adhesive so I don't know maybe that's crazy but I'm mixing this up I'm gonna add some more water what you doing baby so these are my two drinks for the day. Being very hydrated. I always like to make sure that I drink liquid IV. Like I drink it every day, but especially if I work out, I would drink it after I work out. It will replenish the electrolytes and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna shower, try to cool down a little bit, and then I'll show you guys my nails. Okay, battery's about to die again, but I did my nails. I don't know how I feel about these. I'll show you this hand. Um, cause it's got a couple stones on this one. And they're kind of like that jelly look. I don't feel like the color is the most flattering, but I had them I'll wear them for a few days whatever but I'm still wearing the impressions nails I'll show you this is my little um like dwindling collection because I got so many of them on sale and then just picked up sets that I liked so all of these are um ones that they've like discontinued because they have their new ones now their new ones are supposed to fit a little bit better the only thing I can say is that sometimes I have to file down like the little sides right here so I'm sure the new ones are great but I actually love the other one so I had I really didn't have complaints um with these at any point in time but I am excited wait did I wear these I feel like this set I wore looks like I have fewer nails there anyway I think that yeah I think that set's been worn so what I've been doing is putting my extras back here and then at some point I'm gonna sit down and just pull out all the ones that will fit me and see if I can do like you know a little pink ombre kind of thing with my nails or do like white and gray maybe like gold and white I don't know I'm just gonna see I'm doing my best not to like waste them any more than I have to and I thought this was a creative idea for storing them so these little containers are perfect but I think all of these sets I haven't worn except maybe this one I feel like I have worn that one um, but I have some really fun ones like these like oil slick and they've got um little glitter accent nails but I just love those these are really pretty too 
So I'm gonna get myself together and I've got my liquid IV still. So that is it. I'll talk to you guys hello again. So this is my makeup for Monday. I did something orangey, a little yellow. Definitely goes with the nails. It looks like more muted on camera. It definitely looks brighter in person. Oh, and these cicada earrings are one of my favorites. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna decide what I want to make. I have zucchini, squash, cauliflower. I don't know if we got broccoli. I have asparagus. I'm kind of tempted to do asparagus and then I'm like, maybe I just want a salad. Um, I can't decide. I'm just trying to be conscientious. Oh, I already ate two zucchinis last night. So I might, you know what? I think I'm gonna make the asparagus. Where is that? So I got this asparagus. Um, I don't know if I wanna cook these. Sometimes I cook them in the oven. Sometimes I'll do them in the pan. Do, 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 do. Five spears, 20 calories. <laughs> I'll probably just eat the whole bag, honestly, or at least cook the whole bag and eat most of it, if not all of it. So I think that's what I'll do now. All right, I got some butter, a little avocado oil, and some garlic salt. And I'm gonna get these coated and then turn it down and let the let the lid stay on for a bit and hopefully get them nice and cooked. Again, I'm no expert. I'm just doing what I like. So if you're like, bitch, that is not how you cook asparagus, just just let me have it because I'm, I'm not the, I don't belong in the kitchen. Um, I'm just trying to get by and cook stuff at home so that we don't eat out. <laughs> So, okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna turn her down for a little bit and let these bad boys cook whilst I make an iced coffee. my nails Ooh. so there's my iced coffee I'm gonna have asparagus once it's done cooking and I'm gonna work on editing my palette declutter but it's too late tonight to get it up so I'm just gonna try to do like half of the editing tonight and then finish it up tomorrow because it, it will take a while so hopefully palette declutter you will have seen on Tuesday or Tuesday okay talk to you guys later The man in the house, huh? <laughs> the man cat. Be, be nice. Penny's poor toy. She loves this rat so much and has torn it up. It's soon gonna have to go in the trash. And that's her dish towel because she loves to pull those down. Here's your toy. Here you go. Oh, I'm so sorry. It is Tuesday. I slept horribly. And how do I look paler? I've been out in the sun. Oh my god, whatever. So I slept horribly. I had intentions to get up around nine, do another makeup, whatever. But I feel like today I need to catch up. My beauty room needs cleaned. I still have a ton of my video to edit. So in order to get that up tonight, I need to focus on editing that. I didn't tell you guys too that when we were um, leaving Target and we were getting back in the car, Zach was like, do you want this makeup thing? And I'm like, what are you talking about? There was a couple carts in the return and there was a Neutrogena Hydro Boost hydrating tint in the cart like all the way slid back and we didn't see anybody like around them so I was like yeah let me see what color it is and it actually is buff 30 looks like it might be a good color for me right now so yeah sorry to the person who lost it but there was nobody around like I looked around like there were no cars backing out but it wasn't hot though it's weird because it was really hot it wasn't like a super super hot bottle it was just a little bit warm so I'm like okay it couldn't have been that long but yeah, somebody lost their skin tint, but we're gonna try it. I haven't tried a Neutrogena foundation in a while. It's got hyaluronic acid, it's supposed to moisturize and plump. <laughs> so yeah, I just happened to find that, but how weird that it was actually my shade. And I double checked and I do not have the shade of this lipstick. Sally, see this is why I can't cook when I'm by myself because I'm terrified y'all are gonna jump up there. Anyway, okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm gonna wake myself up. All right, I've been editing for a little bit, distracted by my phone, but still, I got some editing done. Still a lot to do. So I'm making up some French toast. I also started using my fitness pal again, just to kind of keep track because I want to be in a calorie deficit. As of today, with my coffee, collagen, and what I'm making right now, 
651 calories and still 789 remaining. I don't know if I'll exercise today. I did exercise a lot yesterday. Yeah, I'm just keeping track of it. Tonight will probably be veggies, maybe a baked potato. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna make this. And really, it's super filling. That 1440 calorie goal was something I set up way back. I'm not really trying to stick to that like hard and fast. So if I am like 15, 16, 1700 calories, I'm still really, really happy. To me, any deficit is good because I'd probably usually over um, my recommended calories for the day. And then this is the pan that we picked up. Okay, a little update. They're cooking. This griddle is so much nicer. It's really cooking super evenly. It's really working well. I'm excited. All right, here's the finished product. This is my brunch lunch. <laughs> it's like, oh my like 1 30 but this is what i'm going to eat i'm super hungry and this looks really filling but i love that it's like you know protein from the egg i got some wheat bread going on i'm using this light syrup it's not too bad um 50 calories per serving i'm probably using a couple servings but it's whatever there you have it i ate i'm actually starting to why do I look so white right here? What is that? You can tell that I'm not good at my allergies, the sleep, but I'm drinking some pineapple juice now. Pineapple juice just hits my soul in a different way. It also looks like some kind of delicious, like I need some tequila for a tequila sunrise. Mmm. I got two packages from FedEx. One I was expecting, but the other one I wasn't. This is really heavy. Let's see what's in here. This is a box from Derma E. There's so much stuff in here. There's multiple brands in here. Replenix Acne Clarifying Pads. Replenix Anti-Aging Age Restore Nighttime Therapy. Okay, so I'm guessing that's a nighttime moisturizer. My God, they hooked me up with so much stuff. I love Derma E. I swear, like I use all their products like constantly and I do not talk about them enough. I got this Think Magnesium Deodorant Coconut and Pineapple. Oh my god. I swear it looks like I'm crying right now. I'm not crying. What is going on? Okay, that must be allergies. My eyes are starting to water severely. It looks like it looks like I'm trying to do a thumbnail for like a drama sad video. <laughs> it looks like it looks like I'm making like a, a really not serious matter into a serious matter and I'm like <laughs> okay oh my god y'all smell this i wish you could because this smells amazing and this is a aluminum free paraben free bpa free the only deodorants i use are aluminum free and paraben free think sport spf 50 i think this is the same one i got in the previous package but i love my sunscreens i got a zinc oxide face and body stick it's a little mineral stick. Okay, Derma E products. Advanced peptides and collagen moisturizer. Microdermabrasion scrub. I might have some of these products, so I'm not gonna open everything up just yet. Scar gel. Oh. Non-oily gel proven to significantly improve scar texture. It can also be used to soothe burns, sunburns, tattoo, as well as improve the appearance of stretch marks. I get stretch marks really, really easily. And my stomach area and like right on the front inside of my thighs, so bad. And right now, because I've gained some weight, they're like fresher and they look like reddish on my skin. They show up on my fair skin so badly and eventually they will like soften and just look like kind of light. But right now they look so bad. So I will definitely use that. And then I have two products from Dr. Zenobia. So this is the, oh, hormonal dermatology. This is the 10% glycolic acne pill pads. I really like glycolic acid. And then the advanced retinol night repair treatment. Ooh, okay. I do love some good retinol. So they, look, I'm so hooked up. This is so much nice skincare. I'm so excited for this. Oh, one more. The, oh, Replenix Vitamin C Pro Collagen Serum. We have a package from Yes Style. All right, so I think this is a lot of snail stuff. Snail Repairing Eye Cream. That's the first product. I also got this Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. Cosrx, C-O-S-R-X, I don't know.
So it's an essence, definitely like thicker than a lot of essences that are very watery, but it's still probably, you know, thinner than my typical serum that I use. So I'm excited to try that. I also got this Snail and Azuline Sleeping Mask. This is the brand right here. I've seen this a lot. And I do have a code with Yes Style and a link. It's down below. Very light lavender. We got Black Snail Bubble Mask. Ooh, this is from the Skin House. Looks like this. I don't have to open these up, but I'm just curious what some of these look like. Oh, I like this packaging. Black Snail Edition Skincare Set. Cream and Mini Serum. So it's this little kit. So lots of good stuff to try. I'll do a video trying these out in case you are interested. So thank you guys for being with me. I will talk to you guys later. Good morning. Is it Wednesday? I was thinking it was Tuesday. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. But I got these two cereals at Aldi. So I put in two servings of this cereal. I mean, it's basically like Special K, <laughs> basically, but from Aldi. And then I'm gonna do one serving of this coconut chia that has granola and coconut in it, just to make a little mixture. Now this is kind of crazy because half a cup of this is 230 calories. I'm like, dang. So yeah, I'm just gonna do one serving of this. And this is two, basically like this is two and a half cups of cereal. So it should be still really feeling. I'm only doing two meals a day, so it's fine. So that's what I'm doing. Hey guys, so I just got done working out, as you can see. <laughs> She's red. Um, I was looking at, I usually don't track my activity on my watch by steps, but I was curious, so I started paying attention. So I did 40 minutes of exercise, like exercise, I think you have to have your heart rate at a certain level for it to track it. It was really more like 50 minutes um but i kept having to stop because the cats were going nuts so it took me a little while and let's see i've done 2767 steps according to my watch i didn't put it on right when i woke up if anybody cares so i thought i would try my olaplex number zero got this in my ipsy x I didn't do an unboxing, but I'm kind of just like using the products in vlogs, um, on Instagram, on TikTok, I'm just kind of using them. So this is the number seven. It says to apply it to dry hair, saturate from root to tip. So I'm guessing that this is taking the place of dampening your hair with water before using number three. And I'm like, okay, that's cool because hopefully this is doing something to help your hair. Intensive bond building treatment is best used as a two-part system with number three to strengthen and repair all types of damaged hair. So I'm guessing while that's a bond builder, this is going to kind of just amplify that. It says it primes, repairs, strengthens, and protects. So anyway, it says to saturate from root to tips. So why do I just, do I just, put it in there. I'm trying not to waste it, you know? I wanna, I wanna keep as much of it on my hair as possible. I feel like this is gonna take a lot. My battery's already dying. I'm so sick of my weak ass batteries. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> mm, I feel like this was, this would be, maybe and it's because they don't want you to waste it, but I feel like in a spray bottle, like, like a spritzing bottle, that this might work better. And it comes out only a tiny bit at a time, which is good. That means it's not going everywhere, but still. I'm gonna put this in and then put my number three in and then I'm gonna make some liquid IV. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this and then I'll be right back. All right, number three is in, looking bold. So I've got my cup, I'm gonna use this one again. These nails are growing on me, it's just like, it's not the right shade of orange, you know, it's like a little little burnt orange. We're doing lemon lime. Mm -hmm. I'm getting, I'm really excited and I hope it'll be fun. I'm getting four different types of hum vitamins, gummy vitamins sent to me and they're different colors and I already take the hair sweet hair and there are a few different kinds and I love hum vitamins so I think um, I think I agreed to make a TikTok, I'm pretty sure. But I'm gonna do like makeup look for each bottle, like go with the colors. I feel like that'll be a really cute way to like show the products, I don't know. But anyway, that's it for now. I am going to let this sit for another probably 15 minutes and then I'm gonna take a shower. I need to pull myself together to film something. In the meantime, while I'm letting this sit, I'm gonna get some photos off my camera and probably post to Instagram. So I hope you guys are doing great and I'll talk to you in a bit. All right. Oh my God, the light. Oh, I mean, it's pretty sunny outside. 
My hair is damp as you can see. I just took a shower. I need to film something, but I cannot get my brain ready. I don't know. I'm feeling wiped out and I feel like I might need a little nosh. So I'm gonna try these uh, Kodiak Cakes Crunchy Granola Bar Peanut Butter. I'm boiling a few eggs. I'm gonna make salads for dinner. Motherfucker camera died. Anyway, so according to that, I have 760 calories left. It also added 35 for exercise. I'm like, 35? I don't, I don't know where they get that number from. Maybe it's 10% of what you burned working out. I don't know. At any rate, it's fine. So we have a spring mix, spinach, avocado, boiled egg, so lots of protein and good fats, tomato, cheese and we're trying this dairy free cheese i got from target so we're gonna see how that tastes and then i will probably add some sunflower seeds i love those on my salad and then i'm gonna have a ranch you, you take a little hit in the calorie and fat department but it's worth it if it's like my dinner i want it to be really yummy and filling maybe i'll do like a natural face of makeup i don't know i need to do something What's up y'all? So it is Thursday and I feel like I've vlogged a lot already. So I just want to update you guys really quick. I did some skincare in a video and ooh, ooh, look at the juiciness of the skin. Um, I don't know if I'll get that video up tonight. I would like to, but it may be tomorrow. And it's just K-Beauty, the glow and the juice. I don't have anything else on but skincare, but look at my skin. Oh my God. Um, okay, so that's it. <laughs> That's that. I'm drinking some lemon lime liquid IV. I have it in there. But I want to tell you guys really, really quick in case you want to check it out. The Memorial Day sale should still be active because I'm going to try to do this vlog on Sunday so that it should still be going on. And my usual liquid IV code is Amy underscore Erica 25, but it will save you the 30%. So instead of using, if you were to order and you thought, oh, there's a Memorial Day code, it'll save me more. I got you. My code will save you the same exact amount. So my code will save you 30% and get you free shipping if you would like to try or stock up on liquid IV. I highly recommend it. It's helping me not only stay hydrated and has those benefits because if you don't know it has electrolytes but it also has b3 b5 b6 b12 and vitamin c and then it has your electrolytes and more hydration than just water alone. So I love it, but also it's helping me because I decided rather than trying to drink Zevia, which is a great soda alternative, if you can stick with it, it's a great alternative. But for me, I would still want other sodas because I never just drank like Dr. Pepper or like Coke. Like it depends. Like sometimes I want a Dr. Pepper. Sometimes I want a Mountain Dew Code Red more than I can say. <laughs> so rather than drinking any sodas, this is helping me a lot because I need something with some flavor throughout the day. Penny is losing her shit right now. I love it when she carries a mouse in her mouth. She like picks it up and take it out. But anyway, yeah, it's helping me not drink soda. I've not drank soda all week. I also have not eaten any meat all week, which is only Thursday, but still like it's a start. Um, I finally said like no more sodas whatsoever. I want to eat at home. Um, I want to, and we may eat out once a week. Like I said, that should be the limit once a week. And if we don't feel like it, we won't. I mean, I can't. I doubt that's going to happen because you know you want something out you don't want to have to cook so i figure once a week on the weekend we can have one meal out to eat the rest of the time strict and healthy and whole ingredients like i've talked about so anyway i just want to tell you guys that and i'm gonna go film and i'll show you my makeup afterwards i hope it turns out the way that i envision it so we'll see okay. i forgot to show you all my makeup yesterday i'm sorry because i really love the look but i did post here, here. let me know if i can't help Bitch, I just accidentally pressed the button. So I forgot to show that look, but it was the one inspired by my other Starbucks cup, the one that's purple and blue and aqua colored. It's really pretty, and now I feel I like didn't I need get that. Bitch! Oh, so I feel like I need to do one look inspired by this look because this is a beautiful color combo. I just had a workout. I am wrecked, as you can see. I decided I would rearrange the office slash workout area. Um, so I put an extra thing out of the window with an extra bed so the kitties had more places to lay. And I moved the elliptical. That elliptical is so heavy. <laughs> um, so it took me a lot of work, um, a lot of squatting so as not to hurt my back. I don't feel pain at all, thank goodness. And then I did cardio. So I'm drinking lemon lime liquid IV. I just made this. I drank my entire, I got like a little, I drank like this much and then I filled it up. 
trying to drink lots of water i have not had any sodas all week apart from like fruits and vegetables we've had buffalo chicken patties from morningstar which are pretty good all the bread i've had has been whole wheat bread i did check the scales this morning as i said not not stressing about it but i did check the scales out of curiosity and i was three pounds down from monday like morning to morning you know you do usual get up use the restroom weigh yourself type of thing and i've done that on monday and on friday and it was a three pound difference so that that can be a lot of factors though i could have been bloated on monday for all i know so i don't I don't take it too heavily but you know it's a nice if you start to see a trend so I just like to stay informed of that so that if in a week I'm I'm down a couple more pounds and I know okay I'm, I have a little trend going on but I do intend on incorporating a little bit more weight training so I will have muscle growth and fat loss at the same time so it could be a wash it could be a gain who knows so at any rate that is it i don't know why i'm fucking rambling like this this vlog is going to be so long <laughs> so i hope you guys are doing amazing um i really appreciate all your support i had one of those moments last night where i you know was doing that really really stupid thing of like comparing myself to well this creator and i don't feel like and I hate to say this, but it's it's easy to compare yourself negatively and positively. So sometimes I'll look at people's artwork and I'm like, oh my god, they're so amazing. It's no wonder they have 200,000 followers because they're outstanding. And then I look at someone who's got twice or triple or quadruple the following as me and I'm like, they're not even that good at makeup. But then you start to question, well maybe they just have a way better personality you start to question these things so I I had to just put the phone down last night and just forget it because it's so it's such a bad thing to do to like start con comparing yourself because it can go both ways sometimes you you look at people and you think oh well my skill set is better and yet they're doing better than I am why is that it must be something else it must be something else i'm doing it's such a bad place to be but i just want to tell you guys that because i like to be very realistic with your with myself so that can be said in all walks of life because it's not just being an influencer or being on social media it can be you know comparing yourself to other parents it can be comparing yourself to people who have been in the same line of work as long as you and they've made it farther it can be very easy in every situation to compare yourself because I mean you can be looking at someone and think I work harder than they do I'm better at my job than they are in an office or at a at a retail establishment it could be so many things but you could be thinking I'm better than they are at my job but they're getting ahead of me you know what I mean like it's very easy in all walks of life it's not just a social media thing so just to put that into perspective because i'm just like a normal person obviously i don't you know i don't have millions i don't live in la i don't do all that if you're having any of those struggles if you think i should have been married by now i should have had a kid by now i should have i should have had that promotion by now i feel you i feel the same way i feel like i should have my Instagram is not growing at, at all. It should have grown by now. Why isn't it growing? So I feel the same way in other scenarios. So now I'm going off on a tangent. So I need to let you go. I'll talk to y'all later. What's up y'all? It is Saturday. Um, we've already had some French toast. We kind of stayed on the light side in terms of the amount so that we can have some fruit. So I'm gonna cut up pineapple and then Zach got this today. I'm gonna cut up pineapple and watermelon. All right, so here is my fruit. I just have pineapple and watermelon. I got some ice water in one of my new Starbucks cups, getting a lot of use out of those. Um, this little blanket thing I got from FabFitFun gosh I don't know how many months ago um, but it's really nice and handy it's one of those that like sand doesn't stick to it so I'll put this down if I go to the beach and then put my towel on top of it but it's also really nice just to lay out probably need to redo my toes but what is it with with polish that if you put it on your fingers it lasts for like 25 seconds but if you put it on your toes especially if you put a top coat on that bitch is gonna last for months I'm also using these uh, Derma E sunscreens 
SPF 30 for the body, SPF 30 for the face. I also used, before I came out here, the Think Sport little stick on my arms. I'm trying not to sun my arms, so I actually put on sunscreen and a long sleeve t-shirt, like a light color, so hopefully I won't be too hot. I purposely have not shaved my legs because I'm gonna try out that waxing kit. Um, I think I showed you guys that. If not, I'll show you, but I'll include it um, and show you, tell you how it went, maybe show you doing it on my legs or something. Mm. This watermelon is so good. The pineapple is too, but this watermelon, mmm, okay. I'm just gonna listen to some music and relax and have some little me time. I feel like this is a self-care that I don't do enough. Just having a healthy snack, being outdoors, getting a little vitamin D, and you know, being with myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hope you guys are doing amazing, and I'll talk to you later. All right, guys, I'm trying out the wax system. So I posted it on my stories, but in case you didn't see it, this is the kit that was sent to me. This is the Gigi Brazilian Waxing System. This brand you can shop at Ulta. It's actually on sale right now, which is pretty cool. This is the hard wax that's best for, it says tough hairs, but you can use it anywhere, even if you're sensitive. So technically you can use it anywhere. So I'm gonna try it on the bikini area first. I'm gonna get that out of the way because that I am a little nervous about doing it myself and trying to get it right. But then I will show you guys waxing my legs and I let my leg hair grow a little bit, like I said. So we'll see how this goes. All right, it is later in the afternoon. I actually just got out of my second shower and I thought I'd wrap up this vlog. Little thoughts on the waxing system. My hair is still damp from my first shower. I think it's got a lot of positives and negatives. I think most of the negatives come with, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So in relation to that, I found, so I found the system pretty easy to use. Like it's easy to turn on, it's not complicated. So if you're not an expert, that wouldn't be a worry. So when I went to go and use it, it's hard wax, no strips. So I started, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the Brazilian part first. <laughs> Get the painful part out of the way, right? And I'm someone who considers myself to have a pretty high pain tolerance. Not like, not like, oh my God, I can withstand anything, I'm so strong. But just, I think it's pretty high. You know, it's a decent little pain tolerance. So, I was not expecting it to be so incredibly painful. I mean, when you don't know what you're doing, you go slower. You get it wrong a lot of the time. I tried it on my underarm. It was hard to get it smooth and I was so hot. I was like overheated that I think like it wasn't cooling down enough. I did one underarm, it was fine. The areas of my bikini area that I did get done with it were incredibly smooth. I was like, ooh, this would be nice, but I was almost in tears. Not really. I was just like, ah! um, like the 40 year old virgin. Yeah, Kelly Clarkson. So I went to do my legs. I was like, okay, my legs are gonna be less painful and they definitely were. And then I was like trying to find the right consistency because it says put a thick layer. And I think the first time it started breaking apart, I was like, okay, that's too thin. I read some reviews and the people who really loved it like have been waxing a long time and said, well, you need a thicker layer and you need to apply it in the direction of the growth and remove it in the opposite direction. I'm like, okay, let me make sure that I'm doing all this right. And then it was thick and then it still broke and I'm like, okay, am I, I'm just not getting the right consistency. So I started seeing that I had some redness in the areas. It wasn't painful afterwards. I just had little redness here and there, but I get red very easily. So I was like, okay, I'm so frustrated right now. I'm just gonna take a shower and I'm gonna shave and we'll revisit this another time. So I would say like, if you know what you're doing, it's probably great if you like hard wax. If you're new like me, it's a definite learning curve. It's on sale right now for $40. I would say it's probably still worth it. You just gotta know what you're doing or be very patient. I think the people who are going to really love this are incredibly patient and have a very high pain tolerance, especially if you're trying to do the bikini. Also, something that I would imagine that for anybody, even the skinniest person, it would be awkward to try to get the right angle and everything but I think when you're thicker and you've got a little belly you've got some thighs and everything's kind of encroaching <laughs> um like I could definitely still see and get it where it needed to go but I felt like I just wasn't doing it properly and getting it like in the just on the edge of the bikini line which I was like okay if I can't do it all I could at least do like on the outsides of where my bikini where it would show so that I could have like a really nice clean bikini line at the beach but doing that was awkward and just trying to find the right way to do it I'm sweating again 
So my legs were not as painful. Like I said, I had that trouble, but the spots where it did work so smooth. So I don't know. I, the numbing spray on Ulta's website from the same brand does not have very good reviews. Um, most of them are like, it doesn't work. It doesn't numb. So I'd say if you had some numbing stuff, I feel like it would be so helpful if the numbing worked. So I don't know. I'm sorry. That is not a very clear answer, but I just think for me, it's going to take a lot of patience and trying and trial and error. So I will try it again. Not today though. Not today. I'm traumatized by the pain. So I'm going to get comfortable. I was going to film stuff, but I think I'm just going to post a couple things and I'm going to start to edit this vlog and I know it's hella long so that hopefully tomorrow I can get it up for you guys tomorrow night if I start on it tonight. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing amazing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging with me. I don't know what kind of week. I don't even know what this vlog is going to look like, but I hope you enjoyed it. So I will see you guys in my next one.